as you know, the quotient is the answer to a division problem. So all of our answers today are going to have a zero in them. Go ahead and write down the four steps in your notebook. Hopefully you've got them memorized by now, but it's always good to have them there on the side for us to double check. So our first problem is 621 divided by 3. I'm going to write my multiples of 3 at the bottom just to help me out. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. I'll start with my hundreds. So how many 3's are in 6? I've got 3, 6, so I've got 2. Put that at the top. Second step is to multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. Third step, subtract. 6 subtract 6 is 0. Fourth step, bring down. Which leaves us with 2 tens. So if I have only 2, I don't have enough to give it to 3 people. So everyone's going to get 0. So there we go. There's our 0 in our quotient. We still have to go through all four of our steps. So that was step 1. So we need to do step 2. 0 times 3 is 0. Step 3, subtract. To subtract 0 is 2. Bring down. We have 21 now. At the bottom there, I can use that those multiples I wrote down to help me figure out how many 3's are in 21. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. That was 7 3's. So there's 7 3's in 21. So I'm going to write that at the top. Second step, multiply. 7 times 3 is 21. Subtract. I'm kind of running out of room. That leaves us with nothing. And there's nothing left to bring down. So we're done. No remainders. Our answer is 207. I'm going to check my work. So 207 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. 3 times 0 is 0. But we need to add that to. So 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So 621. Which is exactly what we wanted. So that was the first example. This next example I want you to do along with me and copy it down in your notebook step by step. So once again we have our four steps and we have a new problem. 613 divided by 6. I'm going to write my multiples again. So there we go. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. The first one is how many sixes are in six, so that's just one. The second step, multiply. One times six is six. Third step, subtract. Six subtract six is zero. And we bring down. Remember just to bring down one number at a time. So we only have one. If we only have one, we can't give it six groups, so they all get zero. Keep doing all your steps, so we're on to step two. Multiply zero times six is zero. One subtract zero is one. Bring down, we have 13. Since we brought down, start back at step one, divide. There are two threes and two sixes and 13, excuse me. So we put that 2 at the top. 2 times 6 is 12. 13 subtract 12 is 1. Nothing left to bring down, so we just have that remainder of 1. I know that I can have a remainder of 1 because it's less than 6. Let's check our work. 102, which was our answer, times 6, 2 times 6 is 12, 
6 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1, 6 times 1 is 6. We need to add in our 1 remainder, so we're going to get 613, which is perfect. Okay, here's our second problem to do together. Make sure you're following your steps. Have faith in those steps. If you follow those steps, you won't be led astray. So, here we go. New problem. 873 divided by 8. Put my 8's at the bottom. Going all the way to the end on this one. Okay, so if we have 800's divided into 8 groups, they're all going to get 1. Second step, multiply. 1 times 8 is 8. Third step, subtract. 8 subtract 8 is 0. Fourth step, bring down. And we start back at step number 1. How many 8's are in 7? Well, we don't have any, so 0. 0 times 8, 0. 7 subtract 0, 7. Bring down, and we have 73. That's a big number. Luckily I wrote all of my 8's down here at the bottom. So I know that 73 is right there close to that 72. So, let's see, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That was 9 eighths to get to 72. So I write my 9 up there at the top. 9 times 8 was 72. And subtract leaves us with 1. So that's our remainder. 109, remainder 1. Check my work. 9 times 8 is 72. 8 times 0 is 0. Plus 7 is 7. 1 times 8 is 8. Add our 1. 873. Okay. These two I want you to do on your own. And then pause and check to see how you did. Our first problem is 813 divided by 2. You're probably pretty good at your 2's, but you might want to write your multiples of 2 down at the bottom, just in case. Remember that today's lesson is zeros in the quotient, so you're going to have a zero up in your answer, so make sure you watch out for that. Be sure to do every single step, and when you're done, check to see how you did. Go ahead and pause. Okay, let's see how you did. Okay, you should have gotten 406 remainder 1. There should be a 1 up there at the top. So if you need to, go ahead and pause so that you can see if you got everything done. If it all lines up, go ahead and go on to the next problem. There we go, there's our one. Okay, second problem. 922 divided by 3. Same thing. Go ahead and pause. Okay, let's see how you did. Okay, this time I got my remainder written up there. So, 307, remainder 1. You may need to pause again real quick to make sure you had all the steps written down exactly like this. Okay. Here's the problems you're going to bring to class tomorrow so I can see how you're doing if you're getting it. Your first one is 613 divided by 2. Second, 904 divided by 3. 436 divided by 4, 
and 1041 divided by 5. I do want you to check with multiplication. So tomorrow when you get to class, I will check your notebooks and see how you're doing. So that is the end of today's lesson.